All right, good morning, happy times. All right, Sunday, again, happy times, good stuff. I'm out here digging my normal spot, kind of under the bridge. This bridge does great for me, but I have a new spot that I'm digging in there. I'm not necessarily gonna show exactly where that is right now, eh, but I've ran a bucket here. <laughs> Look at my little cup holder for my scoop. Anyhow, I'm running pretty decent here. And if we look real close, I'm already seeing some gold up in here. Just chilling up top. Look at all that little tiny stuff. But that one right there is kind of big. Uh, it looks big in the water for sure. Let's see if we see anything just hanging out in here. There's a little piece there. There's a ton of black sands here. So, we're just running that. I sure do like this micro mat. Oh man, look at this. Oh, did I just miss it? Did it just fall in? No, wait. Where did it go? I just saw a piece, just chilling down in there. Ah, oh, man. Okay, anyhow, this micromath definitely has gold in it. And I'm pretty sure the Cape B does as well. I came out and ran a bucket yesterday. And saw some pretty good stuff there. So I'm just going to keep on doing that. Um, the spot, it's uh, I'm getting a lot deeper before I get to clay. So normally where my really good spot is, I'm about a foot, foot and a half to clay. Right here, I'm about two and a half, maybe three. So... I just dug one hole, like about the size of a basketball round and, and uh, going deep and testing one spot, see what happens. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to run probably five or six buckets through this and see exactly what I got. And then we'll uh, go from there, see exactly what we got going on. All I know is right there is telling me some good stuff good stuff because if it's stopping that far up the mat down in the mat has got more so all right i'm gonna go do some more digging um the spot where i'm at is actually kind of super sketchy um i got my my backpack and my bucket right here um this is yeah uh almost not cool um so i don't don't have Austin here with me today um, and that's a dang good thing today because he would not be able to make it over to where I'm over here sluicing and then he'd be all bummed out yeah so he's out playing with his friends good stuff all right well I'm about to uh, fill my bucket up with some water and go do some uh, classifying I'm classifying down to 20 uh, mess today because none of my gold's bigger than that so uh, yeah, it takes just a, another minute, but I can do, I can fill half a bucket full or three quarters, whatever on this with the Arbor classifier and in about uh, six or seven minutes, I can fill that and come back and start dumping. All right, I'll see you in a few. All right, so I went and uh, filled a bucket and then came back. We'll take a quick moment and see how this thing's figured out a little bit here. So, yeah, that's just the front row stuff. I am half tempted here to take my snuffle bottle and suck that up real quick. Just so that A, I don't lose it. B, we can see how this next bucket's doing. Nice. Clean that all up. Rockin' and sock of robots. Let's take a look and see if we can see inside any of the cells. See anything. Uh, nothing crazy. I do see some. Down here. Right there. And. Let's 
see if we... Oh, there's a good one. There's a really good one. Yeah. Alright. And there's some stuff coming all the way down to here I can see, but kind of hard to see in the water. So, I'm just gonna get this next bucket ran. Get my little scoop out of my scoop holder. Nature scoop holder. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this ran. Um, I can't do this safely and video at the same time, so... That way today, and uh, all right, let's get in the back. All right, so I ran that third bucket and came up to do a fourth. Uh, back that up while that's clearing a little bit. I figured I'd just show you the hole here. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. So, that uh, small tailings pile, um, like I said, I'm going down to 20 mesh on this. No sense in filling up this. Loose a bunch of other rocks that I don't need. I'm dealing with that weight, so yeah. Um, just a couple days ago, the river was all the way up here. Um, it was just totally tearing everything up. This was all flooded back in here. You know, I mean, this 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 is just a muddy, muddy, muddy mess. Um, even worse, <laughs> right there. That slip and slide game right there. Anyhow, my shovel's about halfway down into the hole there. And I go. It's dark. And there is a sickening amount of black sands. So let's uh see if I can do one classified shovel one-handed. See if I can do this. Yo. It's a small one. <laughs> so, there is a little bit of clay going on in there. But if you haven't used one of these elbow classifiers, you are missing out, yo. You know, it's just as easy as that. And it's done. You know? And it doesn't matter if it's a little tiny shovel or a big shovel, it's about that fast. It's pretty quick. All right, I'm gonna get this bad boy filled and get back down there and I'll show you uh, what that third bucket looked like up on the very front row of the mat because I'm kind of utilizing that as my indicator. But there's my sluice all the way over there. So, you know, I gotta carry this dirt a good uh, 40 yards, 30 yards to run. So I'm not filling these buckets up too high, that's for sure. Alright, see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Alright, who needs an indicator mat when you got the first eighth of an inch of a dream mat? This is, <laughs> this is good. So this is from that third bucket of just what stopped up there at the very top. You know? And then I go in and I look in other cells like that one right there. I got gold just chilling down in there. Thought I just saw a piece there. Let's see. So those little cells are filling up, but they're still cleaning out good too. Let's see if you see anything over here. Yep. A little bit going on there. So anyhow, yeah. That first <laughs> eighth of an inch of a dream map. I tell ya, you do not need an indicator map if you got that on your side. So, kudos to Mr. David Peterson and Tim Peterson. These guys are kicking butt. All right, I'm gonna run this uh, fourth bucket. I may or may not run a couple more. My back's feeling it already, but I'm not getting out enough. Like last year, man, last year I was out every single day of the year, or every single day, all from like beginning of March all the way until end of December. I was going almost daily, so. Where did I just see that little shiny shiner tin? It is right there. Holy yeah, look at that bad boy. That one's pretty decent size for what I'm digging. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get this thing going. 
I am taking a bucket back to a friend, a full bucket of dirt, uh, just to run through the little power sluice. And uh, we'll see what comes out of that one too. But for now, I just want to get these few buckets done so I can get them back over so we can do that clean out on the clean out mat. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Take it easy. All right, I thought I'd share a little bit of viewing. Oh, man, it's bouncing. Where did it go? There it is. Little piece of gold there. I was seeing a few of them around. Let's see. We got our indicator. This is part. This is like halfway through the fourth bucket. So still a bunch of black sands just chilling right there. But there's another piece. And where'd it go? Right there. Just sitting there. How it's holding on. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> Alright. All these swallows coming down. I've disturbed the mud over there with all my walking around and they're taking advantage of that. Easy pickings to grab that mud to make their nests. They're making their nests, making some babies. Making babies. Happy times. <laughs> All right. I got a little bit of a bucket left here. Very a little bit. I think I'm gonna call it at that. And I'm gonna go fill it up one more time so I can carry that one bucket up to the truck to take it back to my buddy. And then uh, work on cleaning mine. Oh, we're cleaning both same time. I'll do a little video on that too. All right, guys. See you I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a lot of gold in this pan. And this is my concentrates. Um, trying to see if I can get it to move around a little bit here. Yeah, there's a lot of flour in here. So now. Go fill that bucket back up, take it to my buddy, grab my cleanup sluice. I'm putting this in my concentrates container so I can get back over there, get it all final classified down before I do my cleanup. And we'll do a little bit of a cleanup. This might be a little bit of a longer video. All right, see you guys in a little while here. I'll be back at the house. All right, back home. Our friend's house, we're running concentrates. So got the uh, Mini Max 6 from adventures and gold prospecting going on got the everything set up it's looking good anyhow there's my concentrates just from today and gonna run some of this and see how we are doing already seen a little bit of gold blown down you can see all the black sands going already You can see the gold floating back past just after everything else. That glare is pretty bad. But we'll get this all run and then we got an extra bucket for my buddy here to run. So we'll do that and go from there. Oh yeah, that did work. Yeah, look at you. Give it a little bit of shade. Yeah, let's see, how, let's see if we can see it better now. Well, I'll run. Oh, there goes a big one. Holy cow. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna get this all ran up and then I'll uh, get it all in the pan. We'll show you what's done with that from today's dig. And then maybe we'll show a little bit of uh, my buddy Aaron here doing his bucket. All right, see you guys in a few. All right, so uh, all my concentrates are ran. Got it all set up. Buddy Aaron here set us up with some shade, so that's awesome. It's only 70 degrees outside, but it feels hotter than that. Um, so let's take a quick little look at what we got going on down here. This is from those four, I can't remember, it's either four or five buckets. But there's gold just chilling all over the top up there. And then there's gold just 
in various random places like that bad boy there and that bad boy there and then there was one that was just sitting right on top where is it at there it is just sitting right on top of the mat it's like too good to get in the hole go to your home so we're doing that and then we got the stuff down here which has a whole lot of silvery looking stuff in there but there's definitely gold showing down in there too so that's looking pretty awesome and a whole lot of black sands after everything's said and done yep austin approved yeah any other kids we're having fun all right it's a lot of gold that is pretty decent for just a short period of work all right so i'm gonna get this all into my pan and get everything changed out because i got a bucket of raw dirt to run also uh for aaron so I'll show you what that looks like in the pan as soon as I'm done. All right, guys, take it easy. All right, final cleanup is done. Four buckets. We're looking pretty good. So I'm going to end off this video here showing you what we got going on. Do, do, do. That is pretty respectable for four buckets. Flower gold, not too shabby. All righty, guys. Well, Thank you for watching. This one was probably super duper long. I do appreciate it though. Uh, throw a subscribe, a like, a share. Go check out Prospecting Buddy on Facebook. They're uh, best place if you want to learn how to go prospecting. Prospecting Buddy, check it out. Um, yeah, awesome times. Alrighty guys, enjoy. Thank you much. Happy times.